Hi everybody, today's screencast is a, basically a compressed rehash of the ideas that Chris Coyer puts across in his, his screencast SVG is for everybody. He puts across an alternative methodology to using things like icon fonts, uh, which is called SVG spriting. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with the concept of spriting, uh, I found this as an example that's currently being used on Google Analytics at the moment and the idea is that essentially rather than loading in all of these different graphics and icons that you can see on here, you make one HTTP request for a single image file and then using CSS background position property you move the graphic around to show and display the, the graphics that you want. Uh, for a few years now, and myself included, uh, people have been using uh, icon font systems such as Font Awesome to output icons on a page. Um, what Chris um, actually goes into is, is that this is probably not the best way of doing things, even though he's a proponent of the idea himself, this probably isn't the best way uh, of outputting these graphics and small icons on the page anymore, and I'll go into detail as to the, the reasons why later on. What I'm going to show you today is a demo of how to generate an SVG sprite uh, using Gulp uh, and then I'll show you the markup that you need to display the graphic out on the web page. Um, as you probably all should know, uh, the SVG graphic format is really good for a lot of reasons. You get perfect quality and scalability and the browser usage is really, really wide now. The file sizes are really small and once you've optimised minified and gzips the, the files, they're much, much better. Uh, in terms of file size and loading uh, PNGs. It just provides a great method of outputting uh, icons and spriting icons, provides a great method of loading perfect quality images in a fast and cacheable way. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to add icons to these four USPs on this website here. So it'll be this image, this image, this image, and this image. In order to create a sprite, what you need to do is basically combine all those individual images into a single file. Now, one way of doing that could be just opening a new Illustrator document and then copying and pasting all these individual graphics within it. But what I found is actually a plugin for Gulp that does all this for you. Uh, it's called SVG Store. Uh, and what it basically does is it takes all, you tell it where to go uh, in terms of the folder that you want to, it to run through. It will collate all of the SG, SVG files that it finds in there and it will put the contents of those individual files into symbol tags. It will then assign an ID to that symbol based on the, the file name uh, of the original SVG file. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to install or use Gulp because uh, that's a bit outside the scope of this uh, the screencast, but there's plenty of resources out there to show you how to get started with Gulp. So what I've got in here is my, my Gulp file that I've got on my project, and this is the task that I've assigned to it. So just to run through each line to tell you what it does, uh, it basically assigns Gulp a task called SVG Store. Uh, then it tells it to go into my image slash SVG folder, and that little star icon tells it that it to grab any SVG file that it finds in there. It then minifies the, the, the contents using another plugin called SVG min and then creates the sprite sheet using SVG store. I've also renamed the file as well, sprite, and then outputted it into my image folder. So what you need to do is open up your terminal and then move into your uh, directory that contains uh, the gulp file and then in order to run it you just run the command gulp and then you run your task command which in this case is svg store so you might have just seen it pop in there this is the svg file the sprite file that's been created. I'll just zoom out a bit. So you can see it's all been minified, it's pretty hard to read, um, but if you just go in here a bit, you can see 
against the symbol it's got the IDs assigned of the of the file name that it had in there so if you, if you can I don't know if you can see over this side but I've got all the SVG files individually in here SVG store then creates a sprite file uh, and assigns each symbol and ID of, of the file name okay so you've got your sprite uh, now what you need to do is actually output that sprite um, onto the web page now this is done um, it's it's a pretty simple way of doing it but it, it does look a little bit strange when you first when you're first getting used to it so I'll, ju I'll just show you how to do it so this is a, a WordPress website uh, and this is the this is the header header file on it all you need to do is I just created this snippet in sublime uh, and what's happened there is it's created an SVG tag with a class of icon and it's also created this kind of odd looking um, tag inside it called use uh, which basically tells it to use uh, part of what of the uh, file that is going to be named in the link xlink um, looks a bit strange but it's just basically a way of creating a link to your SVG sprite file and then telling the browser to load it and cache it at the end uh, of your file is where you want to be uh, putting the, the file name and then putting the ID uh, of the, the icon that you want to display on there. Uh, so we called our SVG sprite .svg, uh, and then the first ID we want to reference is the hotkey ID. Okay, if I save that and now go to the front end of the website and refresh it, you can see that the first icon's been popped in there. Uh, and then all you need to do, that's simply it, that, that's how you output it on the page. So if I just do the second one as well. There you go, easy as that. It's It really is such a simple way uh, of outputting icons on the page. Uh, it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, obviously with the, with the, the new sort of terminologies and the, work and, the and processes that you're gonna be using, but it really is just so, so simple uh, and guarantees a really sharp quality uh, graphic in there. Uh, now there are a couple of caveats to, to using SVG sprites, um, unless your browser support policy is last two versions, we're not quite at the stage of universal implementation yet. IE8 doesn't support SVG, so if it's crucial for you to use uh, IE8, uh, then you might want to revert back to using icon fonts as a solution. Uh, also, there's no versions of IE that support the use tag, but there is a JavaScript polyfill called SVG for everybody. I'll put the link below in this video for that, which essentially pulls out the SVG uh, data um, out of the, uh, the sprite and then just inserts it straight in the page rather than using those use tags. Um, also, SVG for everybody does support IE8 and under using a legacy file, which basically will search for any PNG equivalent of your SVG images uh, and output those on the page instead. Um, now, also in uh, Chris's screencast, he lists a number of advantages of using SVG sprites over font icons, um, including uh, this basically better browser rendering and there's no anti-aliasing so when you use font icons sometimes you'll get little blurred edges to to the icons but when you're using SVG you always get a sharp crisp uh, looking image in there. Um, semantically it's also better to use SVG uh, than using span or i tags to output content on the page uh, positioning is also much easier using SVGs. Uh, when using icon fonts, you've got to worry about things like line heights. 
uh, and also accessibility data is much easier to insert in SVG, SVG tags than for icon fonts. That You can do it using icon fonts, but it is really, really, you have to jump through a lot of hoops in order to get it out on the page. Um, so I'm, I'm not totally slating the idea of still using icon fonts, but I think that uh, going forward, using SVG sprites really is, is the best methodology for, for outputting nice, crisp, sharp graphics on your website. Uh, I hope this screencast was useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, then, uh, then please put them in the comments box below. Cheers. Bye.